Now, a spotlight is being cast on just how poorly some Indigenous Australians are living on the outskirts of Alice Springs right now. The conditions are being likened to that of a third world country. Families are sleeping on concrete slabs with no access to shade or running water. This was covered in a brilliant report by Sarah Eisen in the Australian newspaper today. South Australian Liberal Senator Karen Little was born in Alice Springs and recently visited the outskirts to see the conditions with her own eyes. And she joins me now to discuss. Senator Little, can you just paint a picture for our viewers of how bad some of these people have it? How tough are they living? Well, I think it's important for Australians to understand this was within 10 minutes walk of the uh, post office in Alice Springs. Uh, a family living in between two town camps, which are residential areas for Aboriginal groups in, in Alice Springs. Um, and these were people living on a cement slab who are, are not drinkers, they're not gamblers, they are just trying to do the best that they can um, and they've come to town two years ago um, because one of the members of the family became ill with kidney disease. Um, when you see the conditions under which they've been existing for two years and the amount of people that have driven past this circumstance, you have to ask, where is the accountability in service delivery for making an improvement in the lives of these people? You don't quite simply need to, to need a voice. You just need people to do their jobs. Accountability, transparency and responsibility for helping to alleviate these situations. Yes. And this is one of the issues that's raised uh, when people discuss a voice, whether the voice would deliver tangible outcomes on the ground uh, for families like we're seeing here. Well, the extraordinary thing about this family is I, I, I went there very early in the morning. I watched nine children in that, in that little camp where they were living. I watched six of them get on the school bus. I watched happy children jumping around to say good morning to me. Um, it was extraordinary to hear the stories of those people and the hope that they have for a better life. What they need is people who have the power to deliver a better outcome politicians, bureaucrats, service providers, not-for-profits, to actually deliver what is intended to be delivered uh, through the investment of Australian taxpayers' money. You talk about those children and, in, and we've can I seen... Just say in... Yeah, of course. Go ahead. I think what's really important here is this is an awful situation for this family to have endured. They clearly have a very strong, capable, supportive family unit. This is about somebody recognising the tools that they need to actually be able to improve their own lives. As I said, they came to town because one of those young people actually had a severe uh, kidney ailment. Yes. And now they've moved to three times a week on dialysis. We all know that environmental conditions contribute significantly to people's life and health outcomes. Surely, at some point, rather than people saying, we've raised concerns, um, somebody could have taken responsibility for following this through and finding these people a more safe, uh, reliable home to live in while they work through these very difficult issues. Absolutely, especially when there are so many young children involved. Um, what about, what's been the response today since this has been raised so prominently in the media, in the Australian newspaper? Has anyone stepped in to say, you know, here's temporary housing or, or let's, let's help feed these children? Well, they certainly haven't contacted me to tell me that they're finally actually doing something. But we need to maintain the focus on it's actually what is surrounding this family that needs to be attended to. It's somebody stepping in and saying, this family who have all of these children and a sick person um, needs to actually have some yeah. uh, safe place to live. It's yes. not about, um, you know, it's about supporting this family. That's what's really critical. I'm not sure, sure what's right. so hard about this. Um, but certainly it was really obvious when I went there, something needs to be done. Yeah, well, well done and, and, and thank you for raising this issue. Senator Little, thank you for your time.